Okay, okay. So, um, we, Jonathan mentioned in his talk that we obviously are continuing to do our What's on Our Minds uh, videos, and I've been asked on several occasions, so it's really good if we could get a, a What's on Our Mind about the Slack channel. It's been on my to-do list for I don't know how long. Um, so, yeah, when we were putting our program together for this talk, we could just do a quick going over. What is Slack? Why, why should you engage with it? What benefits does it have? So, first of all, hands up if you are on our customer Slack channel. Okay, not bad. Hands up if you have actually used it. <laughs> yeah, numbers are lower. <laughs> well done to all of you that have. And um, so hopefully, um, we'll just give you a wee bit more of, a, of an overview as to what it is, what benefits it can have, and encourage you to, to sign up for those of you that haven't. So what it is, it is an instant messaging platform. Now, I should say that we use it internally between us all all the time. It's one of our main um, sources of software. We would be completely lost without it. Um, we have meeting links going into it. We have updates. We chat between each other. We have groups within it. Now, you can access it through either the browser or the app. Okay. Um, and it, it does allow us to have dedicated workspaces. So, the screenshot there, you can see that's from my Slack app, and we've got our Sand PTFS Europe Slack, so that is our internal Slack channel. We've also got our customers' workspace, so I can toggle quite easily between them, and I can get notified if there's any updates on the customer Slack workspace. And also, we've, I've got the workspace for Aspen Discovery as well, so I can go in and, and speak to people in the Aspen community throughout the world and get, you know, get some advice from, from suppliers and such like there too. So it does allow us to toggle quite easily between different workspaces, but it also, within a workspace, allows you to set up a, diff a different set of channels. So for example, my team, we've got a sales channel. We've got a projects channel, we've got a support channel, and we can all be members of each channel, or you can you know, opt to be in and out of channels, but it's just a way of being able to instantly message a group of people all at the one time. So you've got that focus project space, but also you've got the one-to-one -one chats too. We can use it for huddles, and that is just, you know, let's have a quick chat. And you just click the little icon, your, your wee sort of um, symbol next to your name shows headset, you can see that you're talking to somebody and it's just a very quick way of, of you know, of getting something said without going backwards and forwards with text. And as I say, we can also connect with others outside the company. So we've mentioned Bywater Solutions several times already this morning. We can communicate with them directly as well. It's instant, it saves an email exchange and everything can be in the one place. So, the PTFS Europe Customers Slack workspace was set up as a replacement to our original customer forum. And that was never really utilised in the way that we intended either. I think people really just shied away from sort of opening up discussions. But it was quite dated and it was on an old bit of infrastructure. So, because we used Slack so much internally, we thought that's a workspace to give our customers. Okay. Um, okay, so we can see when people are online, it's another benefit of it. Um, if I'm looking to, to have a quick conversation with, with Jonathan, for example, and he's not showing green, then he's offline, so come back to that later on. We can also tag people to get, to get their attention, and that works in any workspace. So say, for example, in the sales group channel, there was a... Um, a little bit of information and I wanted Sam to follow up on that, I could tag her and she would get a notification. Um, and it just, it, it's just a, it, it's a, oh, it's just a good tool really. We can use emojis for reactions. Um, again, sort of show an acknowledgement that you've read something, but maybe you don't want to engage in a big conversation, you don't have time just now. And we can also reply in threads, which keeps the conversations focused and prevents you having to scroll through the screens to find that. You can obviously search as well. So if you know that something's been said before, you can search Slack for it. 
Um, the threads are highlighted from the messaging panel, so this is this bit here. Um, you can see that we would have notification that there was something in that thread, and you can see here that there was some exchange going on between myself and Jake and Martin. There was four replies, so I can again can click on that link and see what that um, conversation was about without having to scroll through everything. So it is really useful. Now, what I found on the customer Slack space is it's one of our customers might ask a question and they don't get a response. And then that's quite disheartening for them and they maybe won't use it again. So maybe I've come on, seen that they haven't had a response, and then I'll tag them so that they get a notification that I've actually then put a comment in. And there's a couple of times as well where I have engaged in conversation on that workspace, but it's in a thread. So it's not taking up valuable screen space for everybody else, excuse me, and it keeps that conversation quite focused. Okay, so what I'm going to do is encourage you, if you haven't yet signed up, then please do. Um, don't be scared of it. We're there. It's a way as well for you guys to talk to each other. It's not just about connecting with us at PTFS Europe because you can do that in other ways by email, by the help desk, etc., by your account management meetings. But that's what we would like. We'd like to see the community of our users really communicating with each other on that workspace, helping each other out. If somebody asks a question, has anybody found a way of doing such and such? I'll sit there and go, yeah, I could tell you, but let's see if a customer joins in first, and then eventually I'll give up and answer them because I don't want, I don't want them to feel ignored. Um, but I, again, I don't want you guys to think, well, it's okay because we don't need to communicate, we don't need to go in there because somebody at PTFS Europe will do it anyway. So we tend to hold off a little bit, um, but yeah. So in terms of signing you up to the Slack workspace, if you're quite new um, to, to us as a customer, you probably will have been signed up during the implementation or you'd have been given the link to sign up. Um, you can sign up at any time, though you can join the workspace. Just ask any one of us, um, put a ticket in or ask your account manager or anybody that you're talking to. If you have problems with the app, getting the app on the workstation, then you can obviously use the browser. Um, and once you have logged in and you've got your profile, I'd encourage you to have a look at your preferences and set your notifications. Because this is another thing we were finding that some of our customers were saying, well, we use it, but we don't know if anybody's replied or not. Um, when you look at your preferences, you've got a, um, a bit where it'll say, send me an email if I've been tagged, send me an email if um, somebody's trying to start a conversation or whatever. And just look out for the little badge at the bottom of your taskbar to indicate how many messages you've got um, and, and so on as well. So that's it. Finally, if you want to sign up today, we have got um, a URL that you could use. We have got a QR code. If you scan the QR code, it should work. But if you haven't already got the Slack app, we'll want you to um, get that from your, your app or Google Play Store first. And just one other thing I wanted to say is, obviously we've been talking about our What's On Our Mind videos that we do publish on a fortnightly basis. I'll need to try and put one out tomorrow since I'm here today. Are you all aware that we do them? Because I put it out to Slack. Next one's available. I put it, you put the message out on Slack. We pop it on LinkedIn. I, my fear that you guys are missing some of, of, of the stuff that we do because of the, you know, because we just sort of maybe put it on the Slack space. So again, I'd encourage you, even if you don't want to, to interact on it, you know, you just want to be that silent observer, you know, that nosy person likes to keep on top of what's going on. We do put a lot of useful information on Slack as well.